Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! Saturday tutorial. So for today's project, I'm featuring the Celebration Stamp Set called Eclectic Expressions. So this is a free stamp set that you can get when you place a minimum $50 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. I love this stamp set because it's got two commonly used sentiments, happy birthday and thank you, and then you've got all of these fun uh, background images that you can use to really kind of go crazy with on a project and create a really artistic feel on whatever you're creating. So I really, really love this celebration freebie. So when I was looking for a project for us to recreate today, I looked in the second release um, celebration brochure and I saw this card and I thought this card was so much fun. I love all of the colors and I just loved um, the repeated stamping here and the different colors that were used so that you had the happy in five different shades. So I really, really like um, this card. So I thought it would be fun for us to recreate this one today together. And remember, we only have a week left of celebration. So if you just absolutely love this stamp set, get your order in because come March 31st, 2018, celebration will end for this year. So you don't wanna miss out on some of your um, favorite freebies. So for my ink colors for today, I am using Daffodil Delight Pool Party, Emerald Envy, and Melon Mambo. All right, so I've gone ahead and gotten all of my ink colors opened up and ready to go since we are going to do quite a bit of stamping. I'm also going to have my stamp and scrub handy here off to the side because I'm going to need to clean my stamps quite a bit in between stamping in each of these colors. All right, so I've got a scrap piece of paper here and then I've got two pieces of Whisper White. This is just a scrap piece and then this piece is cut at three and a quarter inches by four inches and I will have all of the measurements for today's project over on my coordinating blog post which is linked just below the video in the description notes. So I'm gonna start by stamping the happy birthday and I really just want the happy. So that's part of the reason why I've got this scrap paper here because I'm gonna stamp the birthday off just a little bit so that I can get the happy on there. So Daffodil Delight ink first, and then I'll just stamp this down. Okay, okay, I've cleaned my stamp, and now I'm going into the pool party. Okay, now I'm gonna do Melon Mambo full strength. Flip this around, get Melon Mambo right here. Now I'm gonna ink up in Melon Mambo again, but this time I'm going to stamp off once and then I'm going to stamp that again so that I get two shades. So you can see we've got the dark shade and then stamping off once we get this nice lighter shade. And now I'm going to get Emerald Envy here and stamp that down. There we go. Now I've got this little circle image from the stamp set. So it's one of the little background images, this one here. I'm gonna bring in my Daffodil Delight and I'm just gonna start stamping this image over and over um, vertically on the left side of this uh, piece of Whisper White, and I'm just gonna kind of stamp it all over. If it overlaps here and there, I'm okay with that. You just kind of want to be sporadic and just stamp it however. On this card, that's okay. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So let me just show you what that looks like up close. So this is what I have right now. So now I've cleaned off my stamp. I'm gonna bring in my Melon Mambo and do the exact same thing in the Melon Mambo. Okay, the Melon Mambo's done. So I'm going to go into the pool party and I'm just going to do one straight line of the pool party. Well, it's not really straight, but I'm, I'm just going to do them in a single strand. So just like that. And now Emerald Envy. There we 
There it is, isn't that cute? I love how that looks, it's a lot of fun. So now I'm gonna bring in my card base. This is a piece of pool party cardstock. This is cut at eight and a half inches by five and a half inches and I've scored it at four and a quarter. I'm gonna lay this down on top of my scrap paper here and I'm gonna get one more piece right here, just like that. And then I'm gonna take this little background piece that has little um, circles, X's, and dots, and I'm gonna create my own background, and I'm gonna use the Pool Party ink. So I'm just going to go around, stamping this image and rotating it around as I go, and I'm really just gonna focus on the outer edges of this card base. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. So you can see we've just got that background um, going around the edge, and that's gonna be okay because it's gonna be, the, having the middle piece open, that's gonna get covered once we add our layers. So you won't even see that. So now I've got another piece of Whisper White cardstock here. This is cut at four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm just gonna ink up this little image right here in my pool party. And I'm going to stamp it off. And I'm just gonna stamp it, let's see, oh, right about here, okay? Ink it up again, stamp it off. I'm gonna flip it upside down and stamp it right about there. Then I'm gonna bring in that happy birthday again, ink that up in Melon Mambo. That looks too inked. Let me do that again. I think that's better. And I just want to stamp this in the center, right about there. That looks good. Then we'll bring in those little X's, circles, and dots. And in the Emerald Envy, I'm going to ink that up. And I just want to put this here. And then we'll do another one there. There we go. So this is gonna be the inside layer for our card. Isn't that fun? All right, so now we need to go back to our little happy birthday um, piece here, and I'm gonna bring in my classic label punch, and I'm going to punch out all of my happies. I'm just gonna center it into the punch and get each of these all punched out. All right, so now we can go ahead and start assembling the card. So I am going to get my inside layer added in, and I will just use my fast fuse to do that. Let's put this right here in the center. There we go. Now I've got an emerald envy layer here. This is just an eighth of an inch larger than my whisper white layer. So I'm gonna add these two together. Okay, fast fuse on the back of that. And I'll just add this to the front of the card. All right, so now I'm gonna get my happies in order. So I want the emerald envy first pool party second, then I'll do the darker shade of Melon Mambo, lighter shade, and then the Daffodil Delight. And then I'm gonna come in with mini dimensionals here and just pop a couple of these on the back. All right, so now I can start placing these onto the front of the card. I'm not gonna press them down until I'm sure I have them exactly where I want them. So let me just get the backings off here. And I'll start with this one. Let's see, put it right here. Not pressing that down yet, okay. Oh, 
All right, so I think I've got them where I want them. You can see I kind of staggered them left, right, left, right. I think I like that, so I'm gonna press it down. Then I am going to bring in some of the 2016-18 in color glitter acrylic shapes. And I want one of the little Emerald Envy flowers here. And you can see these are so sparkly. They've got glitter on them. Just bring in the rest. They're really pretty. I don't see people use them very often, but they're actually really pretty. And I'm just gonna add this down with a glue dot. Okay, and let's see, I'm gonna pop it right here between that P and the Y on the Daffodil Happy. All right, and that finishes this card. Isn't it so cute? I love it, I just think it's a lot of fun. And then you've got this nice decorated inside. I've been really into um, stamping the inside of my cards lately. So I really love that. I think it's a lot of fun. And of course, I had to also decorate my envelope. So I added that um, image that almost looks like a strip of washi. I added that image in Emerald Envy. I stamped the little, I don't even know what that is. It almost looks like a little watercolor wash. I stamped that image in Pool Party, just like we did on the inside of the card. And then I just stamped the little background image that we did here in Melon Mambo, and I really love how this turned out. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's Stampin' Up! Saturday tutorial. I had a great time um, sharing this project with you and creating it with you. Remember, you can find all of the measurements as well as all of the supplies over on today's coordinating blog post linked just below the video in the description notes. And I've also got direct links to all of the supplies that I used today in the video description. You can click them and head straight to my online Stampin' Up! store. So thanks again, you guys. I'll be back soon with another project. Bye now.